Yeah, we can do Gold Rathian since we don't have them on stream either, or any of them really. What am I going to be using? Uh, I'll just use Hammer. I'm going to only really use, uh, what's it called? Charge Blade if I have a build for them. Well then, make this. No. Never. I shall never make a build for a specific monster ever. Since people in the in the stream didn't hear this and say it got cut out, or more accurately, my microphone wasn't on, this area looks like the area from Frontiers. It honestly might be. Probably not, but... They're pretty identical. Just one's like really run down and shitified now. One's really run down and shittified, and the other is a little less run down and shittified. Wait, hang on. This is also frontier music for this area? Like, I'm pretty sure... Yeah, this is the... Uh... Duragua theme. Hmm. Or, well, more accurately, it's the tower theme. So, I actually do think this is the same location. Oh, I forgot. Her head is, like, the most sturdy thing of all time. You're going down. Well. I could be wrong, though. I'm not sure. But I feel like I have heard this theme in Frontiers. It sounds vaguely familiar. Like, I can just remember- whoa! I can just remember it when fighting, like, Rathalos and, and stuff. You can nappy! Oh, Hit me! Get me out of it, if you can! Don't you have Hit me! Free? Hit me! Right, there oh. we go. I think it was your dog. You have Flintree, right? Yeah, but uh, it, you can still do it if, um... Uh, or you can still uh, hit I teammates out of it, if, unless they're it. already asleep. Okay, I didn't need to do that. We have uh, earplugs. Okay. Never actually learned the. Uh, Hammer jumping deck that people use a lot in Monster Hunter World. So I actually don't know how to do it. Restung. Once again, there's no. Uh... Oh yeah, they're they are actually vulnerable here. It's funny because I I I've been leading in damage quite hard so far purely because I actually get orange damage even yeah. if they aren't angry. I like how we both took the time to set something up during that. Yeah. It's it's honestly my favorite part of it. They just kind of hang out while I set up eggs. And now I'm going to get some fucking stonky damage. Fuck, I thought I was going to outrange that. God, I love doing that. Oh, it's so good. My cat really needs to place down a wire bug because I can't grab any anymore. I love how as a hammer main, I actually can do air combat. Oh, fuck. You're actually shooting me? I thought the gun was a joke. <laughs> I thought you were doing a funny bit. It's all over me. 
but I love doing that uh, that combo where I avoid their attack like that. Ah, oh, so much damage. Oh, you're not gonna do a second one? I guess she became unenraged? Hmm. Hope you don't mind if I do this. You minded? Okay, well, rude. Bonky. Oh yeah, her head's broken now, so I can actually do decent damage even when not enraged. Oof. It was like... Bring to my egg. I think it was like uh, 1,200 damage in a single attack. Very nice. Oh, let's go. We still have Infernal for a few seconds. Never mind, it's gone. Ba bonka! Please hit him. All I ask from you, Cap. There nice. we go. Huge damage. Oh shit, 760? Yeah. Pretty good. I think that's my highest damaging hit so far. Yes. Correct. But, uh, wait, the, you don't have the mod though. I do. You did? It got updated? Yeah. Nice. Oh yeah, because earlier you said you're leading in damage. I don't, you wouldn't know that otherwise. Or I was <laughs> leading in damage. No, you were. I mean, yeah. uh, to be fair, in, in this instance, I could have assumed it just because I actually get orange damage, but yeah. Oh, you piece. Oh, that's Do a. That's, yours? that's uh, Omega. Omega poison? I don't really like Omega poison, thank you. I like Omega Poison. Makes me feel happy. Bonky! Bonky! Oh shit. Damn. Oh, Omega Poison? God, Rathian, you're so rude. Bonky. I wonder if the uh, the charge master skill is ever going to be worth it. It seems kind of garbage. Where you do more damage from charged uh, attacks. Which is like hammer exclusive pretty much. It'd be funny if it counted on the, the charge uh, heavy bowgun stuff. For the charge blade should just get like a permanent stat boost. Oh, that hit me? Holy shit. I'm eating 4,000 herbal medicines in this fight. <laughs> I've only had to eat uh, two so far. I think I've eaten... It's <laughs> either... Four or, or seven. I can't remember if I actually bring a full ten or not. Hmm. I think I probably do bring ten, so I've probably eaten seven. Get ready. I did armor through a few moves that gave me poison though. Doesn't really work against the poison itself, but... The 
God, I love the all the fights that just revolve around being in a single location. Where yeah, you can I just can... go in and fight them. And you get the, uh, the rainbow wire bug for free. Yeah, the rainbow wire uh, spare birds is this, but especially, especially the big thing for why I like these quests. It's so nice. Stop poisoning me, you dick. Nah, she can poison whoever she wants. It's her poison. Yeah, but like... Consent? Would be cool. She's a giant dragon. She doesn't need consent to poison you. Why, well, I think it would still be friendly of her to ask. But she could strive to be friendlier. She could. Otherwise, we're gonna do this. And surely she won't like that. That's what you get for being a meanie. <laughs> I mean, what, she gets a free nap? That doesn't sound like a punishment. I mean, again, a forceful nap? I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I'm not sure if I like someone just walking up, tasing me, and then throwing trang bombs in my face. <laughs> As expected. <laughs> Could you so imagine you if they did that go, IRL? Go to the police station afterwards and they're like, What's the problem? You got a free nap? Why are you complaining? <laughs> <laughs> I got fucking two wrath. You know, I got a Rathian mantle and two Rathian rubies. I just got a, a, a ruby. Someone wants to speak with me, who? You can never do the, the do Angie, uh, Angie talk. A grudge indeed. Magnum Mallow. Oh no. Let me guess. He's angrier. No, wait. What's his... Scorched. He's burned? Yeah. I mean... It does seem like he's kind of just angry, you know? It's like uh, the one horned Rajang Jang quest in World, where it's like, yeah, he got fucked up, but it made him angry, so he's stronger. <laughs> yeah, he's missing a leg. He's fine, but he's stronger now. Time to go. Someone cut off his head. He's stronger now because he got angry about it. Hey there. <laughs> Funny, was that easy? Anytime someone does grievous physical harm to you, you just get angry. And you're yeah. Right here we go. I sometimes seriously sit. I, I will go eat, refill at the box next to the food, and then walk over here and refill again. <laughs> yeah. Like I've, I've, I've counter swung from forgetting to refill all the time to just. Refilling like four times between hunts. As always. That does tend to happen. Let's go. Well, time to fight fucking scorny, scrawny <laughs> little Maggie. Scorny Magnolo. I hope this. I don't think this is in an arena, but I would like it to be. No, I don't think it's in the arena, because when this was a, was a quest that was before the arena. It could be in a different arena, you know. Hear but it's not. Damn, he looks angry. It's missing an eyeball, too. Like we said, just chop off his arm, he'll get stronger. Why do the, the, the subtitles look a little squished sometimes? Yeah, they're just, they're just trying to fit more in. You can you can use two lines. It's allowed. <laughs> See, you can use two lines. It's fine. I guess they're like, with two lines, it looks a little, like, small. You know, in that in-between. Holy shit, it's longsword user Magnum Allo. <laughs> The most dreaded form. 
He's gonna trip us endlessly. Let's get the bread. Let's get the bread. We still need a, uh, a way to get rainbow wire. Honestly, like, I kind of just hope they do that eventually. Give you a, like a consumable. Yeah, now that I have gloves with um, spare bird collar, I'm seriously con uh, considering just eating for the thing that doubles the effect of spare birds you get. So I can uh, get double effect from those I get for free, because that's only once every minute. And then mm -hmm. also get uh, double effect from the ones I gather. If it goes way faster. Could be nice. And especially if we're going to be doing more of those uh, anomaly investigations with ever increasing uh, monster difficulties, that might be quite useful. Yeah. And it also doesn't help that you get like a pittance of health every time you pick one up. Yeah, that's why I'm, I kind of want to increase the fact because they really do not do a lot. I mean, they do a lot, but a single one doesn't. Like, the effect is too good to kind of ignore. The yeah. worst part is, I also want the damage ones, but that just takes so long to farm that I really can't fucking bother. Yeah, I'm already kind of sick of farming the, the health ones. I'm not going to go out of my way to farm the other ones either. These were neat as just things that you could get. But they kind of became too required. It would be nice if they changed these to be like... Uh, oh, by the way, hold on, don't go in yet. I'll give you songs before. Um, it'd be nice if they made it so like other endemic life or... Like instead of... Actually make them more like the... Um, the uh, lantern bug. But have it be regenerable health. But like for, I don't know, two minutes or so. Just a little extra, extra health. Above what you can already get maxed. Mm. Hello, Angie Maggie. Hello, Egg. What? Yep, he's Angie. Fucking starts off with that move. Okay. okay. Oh, you knocked me out of my thingy. Yeah, ye. I genuinely wonder, I think I could get more damage from using this move. Maybe? I don't know. Kind of varies. Ooh, that does an explosion now? Kind of sick. I'm fucking dead. No, never mind. I blocked. Try dodge. Oh my god. But this is the kind of shit I want to see more of for powered up monsters and uh, honestly, monst what? You're doing it again? <laughs> no, please leave me alone. Please leave me alone. What do you mean? Yeah, this is the shit I want to see. Oh my god! Oh, holy shit. I had a great angle on that. Fuck me. Have you actually seen anything of this fight? Uh, like, what? Like, one or two things, but not. Uh, like, what they've showed, basically. Yeah, in fact, I don't think I've seen anything at all. At least nothing I can- oh, You bitch, I just laid an egg. <laughs> he didn't need an egg. Oh, no your plugs. It just ran out. Like, as I was walking over, it ran out. Oh, actually, yeah, I'm gonna just attack the back on here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dead. Nope. Oh shit! I was so close to dying. It's 
Yeah, I genuinely might get more damage just from doing that. What? He's fucking tail bumping? I wish, but I do wish that in future games, whenever a monster returned, it was more like undead. It was more like this, rather than like, here's the same monster, but they have a new tail move where they do a side swipe. And I'm like, okay. I'll be back. Yeah, definitely more, and this is a variant though, but. Yeah. This is kind I of an example of what, what I want. Monsters. I, I, it's fine not overhauling them too much, in my opinion. Because people do like the original monster and changing yeah. them too much is also kind of a... But I also think, thing. like, um... You can have I'm the original monster. Oh. You can have the original monster while still... Like... Yeah, you can have the original monster while still doing really cool things with them. Plus, it's going to get a little bit tiring. Even the next game we have Nargakuga, and it's just Nargakuga again. With the same gear we're probably going to have to use, because it's really good. You know? Just kind of makes it a bit too samey. You don't really get anything new out of fighting Nargakuga again in the next game. I do wish there were more unique monsters in, in Sunbreak. It's kind of sad. There's only three. And kind of four with... I guess this guy. At least, like, seething Basil Q's, for example, is a lot more in interesting than he was in World, which is nice. Mm-hmm. I think the original Monster Hunter seething uh, Basil Goose was, like... A variant done wrong, in my opinion. Where it was just the same fight, but like... Slightly more glowy. Yeah, pretty much. <clears throat> Damn, he's just nuking. Bro, murdering. Rathos, you have the actual worst attacks, by the way. Mounted Punisher coming in hot. Me coming in pretty cold right now. <laughs> Yeah, Bonky. Oh, let's fucking go. Oh, nice timing. We both went up in the air at the same time. Again. Begrudged ranker scale. I actually need to pick all those things up as well. Hold on. What do you mean begrudge the ranker scale? He Calm dropped wrath on those shards. <laughs> what have you been eating? You know, he just very upset stomach. You know. What is this? Earth is roar. What the fuck? He's Nukin? even angry now. But didn't, oh shit! No damage. Uh, okay. Pop off, King. Get eggs. Man, he must be so upset to be of earbugs. Ruining his plans by just not listening to him. <laughs> Don't you dare, okay. Yo, that move might actually be a threat now. 
and nothing what he that he did just now hit me because I was just rolling left and right <laughs> repeatedly. <laughs> Bro is not dealing a lot of damage to me right now. Never mind. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> what? Okay, uh he has a third attack after that now. Why don't you take another nap? That'll be fun. Wouldn't it be an exciting part of the fight if you just sleep some more? <laughs> Okay, no, I should heal that, actually. Yeah, considering his beam nearly one-shot me just now. And I am at full HP, by the way. Like, uh, maxed out on Spirit Virtue. No, wrong move. I meant to swap. Fuck. Yeah, he's very cool, though. He's probably gonna yeah. card us. Be fine. Means we get to fight him some more. This isn't a um a big monster, so we can capture him if we do get him to capturable state. Yes, that would probably be best. Oh, that's bad. Never mind, it's good. Magna Mala, I, I still can't believe you have that move. Oh god. Because that move is really dumb. Oh shit, I accidentally popped Infernal. It's good, you're good. It was my disc. Oh, wow, okay. Well, never mind. Okay. Gamer Infernal. You're oh, actually, uh... Down. Yeah, it was actually the smartest Infernal of all time. You're doing it three times? Yeah. That's yeah, like yeah. such a cool little after move, just fucking... Oh, he's capturable. Uh-oh. Oh, thank fucking god. <laughs> <laughs> Scary individual. Very cool fight, though. Yeah, I very, very cool fight. I hope this one afflicted. I don't know if I want him afflicted or no. That seems awful. <laughs> that sounds like a really fun challenge, though. Also, very short lived because he will murder us pretty quickly. That would just be him, but he deals more damage. And he already nearly instant kills on. Look. I think. Oh! I got two Magna Glare eyes. I got one. I, th I feel like this would be one of those monsters they also give a uh, like like a Rangom a special oh. explosion. Mm. <laughs> Almost have to. Yeah. Huh. Mm. Cheech wants to talk. I was actually reading dialogue for a minute, and then I realized what I was doing and just stopped and skipped it all. <laughs> uh, one hundred and one, or the cap is now nine hundred and ninety-nine. Nice. Let me check my Argosy, it's probably full, yep. Well, we did Gold Wrath, so now we gotta do Silver Wrath. Continue your research and increase your MR. Or, what the fuck, that looks so sick! The armor? Huh? Yeah, you get some floating knives. Yeah. I did actually That's see so these, uh, these knives. 
I, I never I, I saw parts of the armor I didn't know it was nice. Also the headpiece is really sick and I'm really glad we get a headpiece like this on female armor. That's so yeah. good. I'm really glad that we actually got like a decent looking female armor set for this this one. As opposed to the mindless thigh gaps everywhere. Yeah. Male of Hellfire. Decreased defense but increased attack. Exact changes to stats depend on sw switch skill swap scrolls being used. Uh, kind of kind of eh armor anyway, but no, oh well. Looks really sick. Does look pretty sick though. God, those floating floating knives would be so funny with uh, uh, dual blades. <laughs> Uh, what about the weapon? I'll be here when you need me. I can finally upgrade my <laughs> fucking Melsena horn. Ooh, I'm itching to get started. I just completely forgot about uh, Melsena weapons. So I don't think I use them on anything. Finally. <laughs> it's been so long since I could fucking actually do something with my weapon. It's actually not too bad. Hmm. It's kind of just my horn, but it has blast, actually. Bring on the hard stuff. Almost. Ain't nothing I can't forge. Seeing my customer smile is the main reason. Right. Holy shit, the guitar, the, the, the hunting horn looks really good. It's so good looking. Hmm. Ech. Don't think they're really my style at the moment. I'm, I'm gonna have to rebuild for them if I was gonna use them actually. That's fine. I don't even think I'm actually using a good hammer. I should probably go and look and see if I can find a, a better har uh, hammer than this. I mostly just use it for slots and raw. Finally, Curious weapon crafting is <laughs> available to me. That's true, I could take a high raw weapon and... Hmm. I don't have enough afflicted dragon blood to uh, add an anomaly slot. Um, well... Well, I don't have the stuff to make an afflicted a rampage slot upgrade, so... It's just gonna be... Damage boosts... Big blue chopper. I don't know. None of these hammers are particularly great. I mean, the uh, Gulsar Rag one is always pretty good, but I need something else. <sighs> what really kills the Garango one is just the blue sharpness. It's like, it's too yep. much. It's too little. And it's not even sharpness you can fix with handicraft, it's just, that's what you get, fuck you. Mm-hmm. Who's a Narga Razor? Can I actually... So, I can trade stuff for materials from you. Uh, but it's yes, only but gems. It... Uh, it, yeah, and it also takes those coins, which you probably don't have enough of at the moment. Yeah, no, apparently you get big bonuses, obviously, after a certain point. Yeah, uh, every 10, if you do the recommended anomaly quest, if you go to anomaly research quest, on the right you see one, like, a request, and if you do 10 of those, you get 50 coins. Yeah, but they're all, like, kill a specific monster at the maximum level you can currently do, and a lot of them are, like, level 1. I'm like, what, what am I supposed to do? You know? I, I then did the quest, I was like, okay, maybe they level up a lot when you do them once. And it's like, nope, you just get one extra level. So apparently I got to kill Kula, uh, Yaku, um, what would it be? 20 times before that they actually can. I do think the monster will change after. Yeah, after but. Get a bonus, so. 
Supposed to be like 10 Kuliakus and 10 whatever else is. I mean, yeah, the monster bonus does change every two hunts or four hunts or so. So, but like, if the anomaly research only increases in one level each time you do hunt them, how are you supposed to, like, because then a majority of monsters are never going to reach the level you, you're, you require. You just kind of got to be lucky and get a monster that's already high level. Seems kind of weird. And I'm not hunting Kula UQ like 40 times. Come on. Moss Hunter is grindy, but don't get carried away. You could potentially try deleting the quest and see if after you do like anything else and another one for the same monster comes back but better. True. Good try that. Just I'm delete. actually gonna try it with mine. I'm gonna just delete all my level ones. So I don't care. That's actually a good point too. Maybe all my level elevens as well. Because uh you don't really need them. Come again. Yeah. I've done the same. Everything below level twenty is gone now. Okay. Let's begin, shall we? Evade window 2, evade extender 1, 3 slot. Not the worst, but... Hmm. Pretty funny, though. Here we go. Yeah, it's... I also got evade extender 2, grinder uh, S. And then a uh, 3 slot and 2, 1 slots. Not too bad, either. Especially because... Oh, hang on. Um, see you again soon. Decorations. Oh, yeah. Nothing. I was checking Don't them bother. before the fight. Yeah, Shame. nothing new. Kind of above anything else, I maybe want the Narga or the Lucid Narga weapon. Ooh, I'm to get started. Potentially, since it's uh, it's got more raw than I have. I don't actually remember what song. No, it, 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 it songs that add on like. Pretty mediocre, except it also had a uh, sonic wave, which is kind of nice. Hmm. I have been wanting to be a blacksmith ever since I was little. Guess you could say I'm something of an expert at this point. <laughs> Don't worry about your gear. I grip this here hammer with confidence. <laughs> the Valstrix one isn't looking too bad either right now, actually. And the, 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 I forgot about the sharpness. The red yeah. and white. I was kind of hoping it would get at least a little bit of uh, of sh uh, purple in Master Rank, but no luck. It's honestly not the worst horn uh, either in general. For my build, it's not great because it's pretty low on uh, raw. Mm. But in terms of songs, it has elemental attack boost, attack and affinity up, and sonic wave. It's pretty good. Pretty good songs. Actually, really good songs. <clears throat> For me, it had a pretty averagely high raw, actually. I mean, it's less than what I currently have. Is really good, so. Did you get the song? Yeah, you did. Do this. Yeah. Get ready. Can you stop attacking me? I want to uh, spank your head. I made him stop attacking you. You're welcome. Thank you. It's targeting you. 
Gotta wonder why that egg just dealt 1200 damage. It did? My god. They yeah. really overcranked egg in this game. I, I think his head got weaky for some reason. Uh, because normally it's like uh, 960 to 1080. It's kind of the range it normally op operates at. Oh, poor guy. Yeah, fucking yee. Can you, uh, your skull hurry up and break? So I can start dealing good damage? Does that count? No. Oi. Another 1250 damage egg. What the fuck is up with you, Rath? Rathalos. Why are you taking so much egg damage? I forgot you also had poison. <laughs> yeah. Really wish he didn't. Let me go grab a wire bug and then I'm gonna knock him into a wall and sweep him. Get ready. Oh, did I miss the toad? Yeah, no, it hits. Win counts. Cool. Okay, I was getting uh, orange damage on his head there, which is nice. Hold on. Uh, I'm gonna do this wake up. 2436 damage. Jesus Christ. Appreciate it. <laughs> uh, that is actually such an insane damage number. It's so sad that I can never do wake ups anymore if you're playing Hunting Horn. It's payback for how it was before when <laughs> I was using a, a glaive where I just couldn't do them. Fucking play, me plays big beefy weapons my entire Moss Hunter career. Hunting Horn just drops in all of a sudden. They buffed Hunting Gun, kind of like how they, they made the Fatalis armor, where it's like, no one plays it anyway, who gives a fuck? Just give them massive damage. Yeah. Kinda. Maybe this will get people to play it. It's kind of weird how... in this game... The main appeal of Hunting Horn, or the like, the the songs have such a, like a little presence in in Rise, mainly because like the, the the damage it deals is just so astronomically high. It's like the you least. Can, it can get more active songs. Well, I know, I know, but I mean, like, even with the most active songs imaginable, they don't really. They're the least interesting part of Hunting Horn now, or at least. Uh, good part of Hunting Horn. Yes, people still play Hunting Horn as a support weapon every now and then. It's, it's kind of barely a support weapon in, uh, in Rise. That's why I think they I they're think... probably in the next game they're not going to do this style of Hunting Horn. I think they will still. I don't. I think they're putting it back. I don't think so. But also, I think like any time like the Actual support builds. I feel like I've, I've more often been sword and shield to suit with the wide range anyway. If you want to heal your teammates, it's way better than any hunting horn. Because the hunting horn healing is just never good enough to actually feel impactful. Yeah, but if they want hunting horn to be the support weapon, why does it have to also be the most damaging weapon in the game? <laughs> I mean, I don't think they really want it to be the support weapon anyway. It's, it's, like, that's its entire point. That's like the selling point of Hunting Horn. It's what they put on the, the I mean, logline. 
Yeah, but I mean, I, like, the, the only good supporting songs aren't active. They're like, you activate them at the beginning of a hunt and then every, like, minute and a half. So it's not really a good weapon to actually play support with. And I don't think yeah, it's really I disagree. Either. I kind of disagree with that. In the extent of supporting is, unless you're running healing songs, which deal so little healing that you're kind of just gonna have to spam the healing song to do anything, which isn't a, even a fact. I think, is, well, my point... Is, I just running wide range. My point kind yeah. of is, like, like the, the sure, the songs don't do much anyway, but now they're not even a factor, really. They're not even, like, a thing. Just because uh, they uh, the rest of the kit outshines every other part of the the support role. The support role is like, like you pick the, the hunting horn to do damage, not to support people. But it can do both, just one is way, 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 way better than the other. Disproportionately so, and that's why I think they're probably going to change in some capacity in the next game. It might not be the same moveset, they might not revert it to the old one, but it might be like a mix where they're like, okay, it's going to go back, but like, there definitely isn't an egg anymore. I mean, I think I'll keep it just because it makes the weapon way more fun to play. And it also further disincentivizes people from just sitting in the corner and playing songs. No one does that anyway. People absolutely do. No one does that. Anyone who does that have... gets, like, shamed for it and then... Like, people who yeah, do that are I people... have encountered people who do it online in random hunts. They're, that's like our 10 people, though. I mean, yeah, but it doesn't... It's, it still happens, so disincentivizing it still makes it so people aren't just like, Oh, it's a support weapon, I'll just... But you disincentivize it by... I mean, it gets disincentivized anyway because you do no damage, therefore the hunt takes longer, therefore... You're doing worse. It's like every other weapon in the game. If you don't use SAED, it's the same situation. You're basically drawing as uh, as charge blade. So it's not like a hunting horn exclusive thing where you're using the weapon so inoptimally that you may as well just not be doing anything. But you kind of grow out of it as time progresses because it's just that's how the game works. Again, but like again, at the core of it, I think the fact that the hunting horn players are enjoying this this version of horn overall is the biggest mm -hmm. reason why I don't think it's going to change much from this. I think it's, it's going to change. I don't think it's going to change completely though. You never know. They might just have like the uh, like in this game how they have the option to go back to the old move set. Could always be a thing. Plus, I think probably a lot of the changes they're going to make are going to be just damage changes. Since it is a little bit whack that the damage-focused blunt weapon gets completely outpaced by the hunting horn. It's like, what's the point of even using hammer? Because you like the move set, really. That's... Kind yeah. Of for most weapons, if you just, it's kind of just a preference of playstyle more than anything. Yeah, but I could have like a somewhat similar moveset and be dealing two thousand damage every second if I wanted to. <laughs> they yeah, are different. I, I mean, they are different movesets, but it, it kind of disincentivizes using hammer because you're just dealing objectively less damage than the support player. Not that I'm not going to use a weapon, I just enjoy using. But typically they want to keep things... Like, they nerfed the longsword. That should be proof enough that they want things to stay, or weapons to stay relatively in line with each other, and to have specific roles. And if they want Hammer to be the damaging blunt weapon, 
currently it's not really that. It's kind of just like the blunt weapon that doesn't have support songs and a good wake up option anymore. I mean, you still have a really good wake up option. Not really. Not anymore. It used to be really good in Rise, but I, I really feel like they toned down the mo I don't know what they changed, but maybe it just doesn't scale well because on average, I'm getting like 500 damage impact craters, which is nothing in Sunbreak. Mm -hmm. That's literally like nothing. I deal more damage with Golf Swing now, which I can't access because it's behind a counter. So... I mean, can you not do the the, the bomb strat that greatsword players do for a wake up? Or is it not long range enough? I don't think that... It's not long range enough because it's an upswing. But I think it also just wouldn't work anyway. We try it out in the, in the, the, the training area. Well, what are they called? Barrel bombs. Just like just, the, just barrel bombs. Large barrel small, bomb or just small empty just barrel, barrel bomb. It's a good chance you don't have any. Yeah, no, it's just barrel bomb. It's the, the yellow ones. Oh right. Uh, no, it's not. Oh, wait, hang on. Those are megas. Never mind. My bad. I do not take out my weapon fast enough for that. Okay. It does work. And I can actually... Uh, I think I can do that as well. See, the problem is, is, um, I gotta do a hit beforehand, and that hit will hit. Can you direction swap? Like, Can't. a hit towards, hit behind you, and then counter, get hit by the bomb and hit to the monster. <laughs> or just fly. No. I mean, let me see if it would hit. I take out my weapon too slowly. Uh, and that's too fast. I guess I... I mean, I don't even know if that, if that uh. would work. A friend of mine who's using Greatsword at the moment is throwing them up into the air. So you have a nice arc so it takes a bit longer. Also try that. He found the timing with that is uh, a little better for the, for the Greatsword specifically. I'm not sure if it's... That would work, but distancing that is going to be such a pain in the ass. That hit. I mean, it is a wide hit, so I could do this. I don't know. It's so finicky. No, the bomb hit there. No, it's not going to work. Okay, that worked. So it is possible. It's possible. It's going to take a little practice if you want to actually get that done. But... I mean, let me just check for a second. So if I do full damage impact crater on this guy. A thousand, I got a thousand damage on that. Damn, I was hoping I could do, like, an actual hit. Wait, can I...? No, okay. Yeah, I was mostly just wondering to see if that would work or not. Doesn't really... I 
mean, provided I mash, it is auto-timed. That's the thing. Mm. So if I do this... Then that attack hits. And again, I could do it like a, at a bit of an angle. Like that. That hit. 857 or something? And then if I do uh, Impact Crater, 1,035. Mm. But in game, that doesn't really, it's not really like that in game. In game, it's like 500 and then Gulfstream gave me, gave me 800, so. I don't think the, the training dummy is really providing a proper estimate. Yeah. And it's a shame. Training dummy always just being a bitch, taking too much damage. They're they're making strides to I mean I'll take barrel bombs with me, why not? Give it a shot. But um they're making strides to improving the training mode every game. So the next thing I honestly want to see is just like swap out the current uh hit zone values for a specific monster. Hey, Fukain. <clears throat> Honestly, can I can I get a golf swing on you? Damn it, missed. There was actually a- I'm gonna try and- when I get a down, I'm gonna just do golf swing combo. It's an optimal, but I want to see how much damage it does to his head. Mm. Fair enough. Plus, it'll make the fight take like an extra 10 seconds. It's really not that bad. Can you hurry up and down? Hello? Oh, you want him to down? Here. Yeah? There you go. 374. Okay. What about impact crater? I got 463 like, three there or something. Like, you see what I mean? Impact crater, 460. <laughs> Barely yeah. anything. They were, it really, like, fell off in Sunbreak, sadly. They did something with the motion value that which, like, fucked it real hard. At the end of the day, if you want big wake-up hits, you just kind of got to play Greatsword anyway. Yeah, but Hammer was, like, the fun version of Greatsword, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Nah, Great Sword is also pretty fun, but I, I hate playing it solo. Uh, I should heal that. This Narga does deal a lot of damage. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god, that was kind of sick. I interrupted a move that would otherwise have hit me. I'm gonna sleep him in a moment. Don't. I mean, not right now, but soon. I have gotten more damage using my basic. Uh, Ender. It also might be because they're enraged right now. Five hundred sixty three. Hmm. 
Hit the ground to sleep. I'm gonna do it. Can I? I want to try the the barrel bomb. Uh, give me a minute to. Let me just get my combo ready and then I'll. Uh, think we're good to go. Never yep. mind. Did you not bring him? I didn't. Hang on. I can do an alternate though. To get there, it's gonna be a bit iffy. Nah, no, it's not gonna hit, is it? No. I, I think I could get it to hit though. Okay, that wasn't what I wanted, but. Yeah, I didn't bring him. Sadly. Oh well. I still have a sleep toad. It wasn't actually my sleep, he just went to sleep naturally. I don't think it'll work anyway, since uh, their threshold will be too high. Ooh, okay. I'm gonna okay. play it a bit until the cats uh, and dogs have dealt a bit more sleep damage. No impact crater is dealing yeah. damage. Face is broken. Ooh! I actually hit him with the residue hit. Oops, my bad. I'm throwing. Like, <laughs> kicks me in the leg. Oops, my bad. <laughs> Sorry. It was a mistake. For a second, I thought Master Arlo's sound came out of Nargakuga's mouth. <laughs> it's like, wait, what? <laughs> New voice actor for Nargakuga? I'm stunned. Oh my god. Don't yeah, murder me. Yeah, I had time to give you a. a oh. I don't like that oh, one. Really? That one. I feel like that move doesn't really have much of a telegraph. It's really uh, hard to. No. -uh. Yeah, the telegraph is kind of just, I'm invisible, be fucking scared. Oh, that's a lot of damage. Quick breakdown, see? Oh, I just realized my eggs are dealing more damage because I upgraded weapon. I have more mm. damage now, obviously. Took me way too long to figure that one out. The cat is hopelessly fucking trying to aim on an invisible <laughs> cat. Ooh, broke wing. Broke hopes and dreams. So what are you thinking of Dragon Ball The Breakers? Oops, I mean, my bad. <laughs> I, still, I mean, it's not expensive, and I still think it could be fun to play around with. I'm not. I'm personally not going to buy it. I think it looks too shit, in my opinion. You're going down. Looks too poor. Plus, it looks like it's balanced like dog water. Yeah, but they might change the balance still. I mean, like from a game design standpoint, just the base mechanics they have going on with like survivors and stuff like that. damage egg plus because it's also friend. it's one of those games where and this is a problem that every game like this has uh including stuff like uh a battle royale where if the the person playing the the monster aka like freezer or cell or like a, a killer in dead by daylight 
If they just decide you're dead, you gotta wait out like 15 minutes of nothing because the game is still going on and your friend is playing. And that's genuinely, in my opinion, like the worst fucking game of all time. That's why I never play Battle Royales. Because I don't want to die two minutes in and then have uh, 20 minutes of gameplay where I don't really do anything. That's why you just leave <laughs> if someone dies early. Yeah, but there's a certain point where you got to commit, you know? Like the halfway point. And you're like, okay, well, I guess I'm going to stay here for another 10 minutes and do nothing. Which isn't really why I, I buy or boot up a video game is to spend half the time not playing. And I think that situation would be really exaggerated by something like Dragon Ball The Breakers. Because it's eight players and the killer can just instant kill you at any time. So I, I do think that that could be a genuine like 20 minutes before you get to do anything. And that's a game you can't just... Oh, let me just quit out. Because then you're, you're throwing for everyone else. I mean, that depends on how valuable a dead teammate actually is. So if it's just like effectively... Not valuable at all. Nothing, then it doesn't matter if you quit. Well, I mean... One dead teammate is, is fine in that game, but like two dead teammates is... The more dead teammates there are, the worse it gets. It's, I mean... Oh, fuck. Plus, once again, if, if that's what it's getting to, where it's like, oh, I died, let's just quit out, and then the other six players are just fucked. Like, what's even the point? Like, just play something else. <laughs> Instead of uh, throwing it for random people. Damn, you take a long time to kill Narga. I say is the hunt has only been 10 minutes. Ooh. Oh, let's go. He's about to die. Wow, what a call. Hmm. Let's meet up. But hey, I, I maybe should be able to get the weapon now. I mean, I think the material I needed was a very simple one, too. Hmm. So... Nothing personal. And if it's something like Cutwing, I mean, we did break their wings anyway, so... We good. I need one more Razor. Pocket frog. Right. Let us go. I am immune. I'm immune to sleep. I've had too many energy drinks. I've had 17 monster energy drinks. Fear me. I got uh, their gem from that drop over there. That shiny drop. There is no shiny drop. I've already stolen. Well, see, that's why I left it there. Because if you leave materials on the ground for long enough, eventually they turn into gems. Oh, true, I co completely forgot about that mechanic. Mm-hmm. Damn, you're right. Mis messed up. The Invisible Predator. Give me the weapon. Okay, actually, mine is now an afflicted Angineth. You want to fight an afflicted Angineth? Uh, maybe. Oh, this is going to make this so fucking annoying, too, actually. Since we, we're both going to have different... Oh. Fucking goofy end game. And welcome to my shop. Was that a Vade Extender 3 plus like attack up? What? I just skipped over that. 
Oh! <gasps> Holy shit! That was actually an insane one. Yeah, goddamn. Evade Xander 3. Fi wait, does fire attack too? And then two, uh, le two level 1 slots. But did you see this one? Hold on. Slugger 2 at critical boost 1. That's yeah. Quite good. 3 slot 2. Yeah, that's, that's very good. I should complain more. <laughs> I I just got a speed eating one slugger one with a three slot, two slot, and one slot. Oh, you got the three, two, one, the lucky slot. Yeah. Reload speed one critical eye one three level one slots. Phenomenal. I mean, I still I I cannot ever complain about uh, my meldings right. because I already got go. some really good ones. Hope so. To see you again soon. Like, I still have my, uh, what, where are they? Wait, so I, I can... My attack, I have my attack boost 3 speed sharpening 2 level 3 slot 1, which I'm currently using. And weakness exploit 2 level 3 slots. Wait, so... Lagger 2. I can stick that on, correct? And then... Wait, then I can change this to... The Rathalos one, which gives me an extra slot, I'm pretty sure. Because the only reason I'm using this one is for... Um, I don't have fucking... I remember that now. I don't have it. I actually can't make the Lucent Naga weapon yet because I need his gem. I, did, his mantle, I didn't get his mantle. Sad. I can! I need a Ruktor shards? Bro. Uh where do I get a Ruktor shards? Uh from the lava caverns. I'm going in and getting them. Is this place even called the Lava Caverns? I think so. Tour of the Lava Caverns? I thought it was a volcano region. Well, I mean, there's both, don't you think? Oroctors are the snappy boys, right? Yes, the clickies. It's actually... Yeah, it is a Lava Caverns. It's called Tour of the Caverns. Meanwhile, I shall eat a cookie. You fucking kookin. No. I mean, you are. This is the end. You but get back here. I bought a pasta machine, so I'm gonna be cooking pasta soon. Ooh. I, uh, I tried making pasta by hand without a pasta machine and rolling that dough out to be thin enough is such a massive pain in the ass that I sort of just cut it into thick strips and gave up. <laughs> and then my mom was like, no, I can salvage this. And she started rolling the strips, the, the like pasta strips out one by one. And it did work, but it's also like that is I'm not doing that every time I want to make pasta. That's <laughs> fucking miserable. Like, you know, I'll just spend up 30, 40 bucks on a machine. Fuck that. Find me uh pandemic life. I need uh things. Animals. I don't think he can find small monsters. Well, that's dumb. Well, oh, there's one. Okay. 
Give me a shard so I can just leave, please. You oh, know, you're so you're kind. Really cool mechanic. Mm hmm. I would love it if placing down an egg, an hunting horn egg, uh, made Kuliaku walk towards it. <laughs> and pick it up? Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, just picks it up, eats it, do extra damage because it's inside of him. Like one of them cartoon TNTs. Just like makes his entire body <laughs> bulge. Smoke coming out of, the, of his mouth. Just turns into tr tr Tranodon. <laughs> Damn, I went a long way for this. Damn. You really did. Okay, good luck. Wait, why make Rastalos gauntlets? So what am I missing? I am missing one level of weakness. Gotcha. Wait, I already had that. I'm fucking dumb. Why did you make Rathalos gauntlets over Mozeno ones? Don't the... Uh, hmm. Do the Malzino ones not have... Uh, the thing that drains your health? No. Not the gauntlets. And they come with a level of Wirebug Whisper and a better slot. Yeah? And they're higher tier, so they deal... Yep. Or they have more... More defense. The only upside actually would have been uh, to the lower ones that you might have gotten some other shit with the curious crafting since it said it's uh, lower tier weapons have more they can get or something. Mm. I didn't read it properly, but it was something like that. They have more uh, options. But I still don't think that counteracts the fact that these are just kind of better. <laughs> Unless you want earplugs, but... <laughs> That's my job. I'd like to imagine that the earplug song is actually just a hunting horn player going so hard on the horn that your eardrums burst. Mm-hmm. I just can't hear anymore at all. <laughs> imagine that anytime someone, uh, a hunting horn player plays an earplug song, you're, you just don't get audio anymore. <laughs> game silence. I don't know if this is better or worse, actually. What would I have gained? Is this better or worse than my, my current set? Oh, fucking better, because this one doesn't even have crit boost on it. What? Oh, Jesus. What? What? It's like, I completely forgot that that skill existed when making this set right here. Huh. Uh, what is my current weapon? I don't have any affinity on it. Okay. Okay, so this is definitely better. So one, two, two, four, one, 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 two, one. Gotcha. Better set and a better weapon, actually. All around improvements. Very nice to see. So, my sister suddenly, like, uh, video called me. Mm hmm And I didn't pick up because I was in the train. And then I saw the text message, which said, or she, right before she sent me a text, I'm about to call you, uh, but you cannot respond. You can't talk. 
It's huh. like, oh god, that sounds like something's really serious is happening, and she wants to show it to me through a uh, voice call or video call, but uh, she doesn't want the other person to know that she's showing someone else. Like, that mm. sounds really bad. So I called her back. I'll be here when you need me. She was recording my little sister on a skateboard, and I presume she, did, she didn't want my sister to record, so she did like this. Mm. Like, okay, that's cool and all, but man, you really <laughs> you really <laughs> freaked me out there. Come on. Hey, King Akari. How are you doing? Hello. And before that, I'm going to go and check my damage now. So my impact crater was dealing something like a uh, thousand before. thousand fifty or something, I think you had. A uh, thousand two hundred, basically. Very nice. That is, in fact, more. My sharpness is worse than my previous horn or my previous hammer, but it doesn't matter with you. Yeah. That's totally irrelevant. Let's get that bread. Let's get that bread. I really do hope we don't have to uh, kill like four million of every monster now. I mean, these coins are only for trading the, the for the materials. So, yeah. personally, I feel like we can just also do investigations for months that we find more interesting. I don't. I'm not really uh, tied up in farming these coins. Yeah, really but you know, they're just nice to have. Yeah, because they're nice to have. I'll be like, oh, you know, an interesting monster. In my suggestions, I'll take it. I'll use it. And if it's not interesting, I just... I kind of only mentioned this one because I was like, Oh, hey, Anjan, if we haven't fought him in a while. Forgot to buff my hammer. I always forget to... <laughs> <laughs> I always forget that these ones don't instant stun whenever I... B Come on! <laughs> Wait, did I do it again? <laughs> yeah! No, it was completely... I didn't even notice you that time. <laughs> it's after you. Oh, fuck. This one does a lot of damage. I need... Just watch your most times with a sharpening video and subbed. Very cool. Thank you. I did a lot of work on that, uh, that video. And there's I another one in the works. Yeah. Sort of... It's, it's kind of belayed because of Sunbreak a little bit. But it is happening. Yeah, yeet. 843. Pretty damn good. <laughs> oh, uh. <laughs> oh, fucking. This asshole fell out of my. <laughs> 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 Is this how you're gonna make sure you do more damage? <laughs> <laughs> and that was the only one that was intentional. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Listen, you can't blame me for my thick hitboxes. I can and I will. Don't mind if I do. Yeah, yee. What is this weird pose? I am mindable. Yeah, but it's like just he sits weirdly. Are you gonna criticize how he sits now? Yeah, fuck him. Learn to sit, idiot. Oh my god, 843 times two? That's like. 1600 something. Bonk. <laughs> it's not my fault one of my bad moves is, is does that to everyone. Oh my god, that wasn't even I didn't even know. 
I don't remember that you... one. I'm totally fine if you do that out <laughs> of egg placements. On egg placement, it's fine because it has a really long wind down anyway. Anything else? <laughs> it's <laughs> really fine. <laughs> Oh, that should not have hit me. This should make um, flinch free the opposite. Where it's like you, you put Wait, it on to not more? flinch. No, it, <laughs> you should put it on uh, to not flinch teammates rather than. Oh, so yeah, so it's any outgoing stuff doesn't flinch rather than incoming. Mm hmm. Would be nice. 2371. Oh, I misangled it. No, he got a quirky position. It's his fault. Got damage? Oh, he didn't like that. Well, he's gonna have to start liking it. That's pretty sad for him. A little bit. You know what's still gonna annoy me to this day? Mm. Or for like the rest of time? This isn't a goddamn slope. This is this <laughs> oh, is yeah. not a slope. You don't use hammer and multiplayer because you feel bad when sending people flying? I do it only occasionally. Well, except for this hunt. This is otherwise this, yeah, they only do it occasionally. This is this hunt's an exception. I I've I've hit dip in way more This is like the culmination it's of like forty hunts. It's also kind of because of the way Anjanus looks. Yeah. I think. And it's a goofy lad. Where they're only. Kind of just have to be standing in the same place. Yeah. Their big weak spot is kind of just really small. Also, normally, well, most recently it's mostly been Horn, but uh, in the past I've always been a. a, a Inside Glaive main, and then it, I didn't care. Just sent yeah, me into my aerial combos. Yeah, it's if anything is beneficial. Watch out! Oh, I should be applying buff. Damn. Oh god, that's a grab. I'm gonna. Oh. Nope. Holy shit, that was lucky for me. He was killing me. That wasn't even a big hit. That was just I did the twirly move, the spin, Don't mind me. or the the rebuff, which only deals like fifty damage hit. <laughs> Thank God, I had, a, I had a pretty scary death angle there. Nice to see these hunts have gotten considerably faster now. This one. Had less health than other. Mmm. You want to use instant glaive, but it feels so weird in this game. It's it's about the same as world. It's it's a shame because it kind of got less than every other weapon, but it's still just as good as it was. Oh, also mounting. That's that's where yeah, insect it, glaive got shafted the most is with mounting. That's uh, as someone who played insect glaive almost exclusively in world and for a large part of rise. Uh, the mounting really does suck, but um, the increasing damage for every uh, like air rejump you do is really nice. So I get like um, 560 damage spike finishers. Mm -hmm. That was in high rank because I haven't used much in master rank, but uh, yeah, you got really big spike finishers like that. It's kind of, I think, uh, in Rise. Glaive benefits a lot from doing the aerial playstyle, whereas in World, aerial playstyle seems it's very incentivized. Yeah, it's, it's it's fun still, but it it wasn't just as good as your ground combo. Yeah, because in in World, the uh, insect glaive's ground combo dealt substantially more damage. Like, yeah, I I still did primarily air stuff, uh, but that's also because uh, I. In, to make sure I could lead into it, I just went with a mounting build. Mm -hmm. In so this game, you can't really do that. 
I also quite like um, that with the, the extra wire bug uh, leaps, you get more options for staying in the air longer. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, I quite like Instinct Slave in this game. Definitely yeah, got the, uh, the shaft in terms of, like, less cooler stuff than other weapons, but... It is also just a weird to use weapon in general anyway, so... Looks fun to play. Maybe when you get it, uh, get on, you'll try it and play it. Honestly, the biggest thing to get your head around is the the buffs. Which is, you know, sending your Kinsect out and then pulling it back to get buffs and stuff like that. And then you can forget about it for three minutes. And on top of that, although I, I've personally started using the Blast uh, Kinsects with the, the Suck because it's really fun. There is also still just the... Um, uh, let's see, which is it? Is there a new, new one? Yeah. I always used the dual color attack beetle uh, insect in in base game rise because that just made it so any uh, anytime you grab a color of the monster, you also get attack with it, and since that's kind of the most important one you need, it's quite nice mm -hmm. are there new ones of those is it boost powder extract let me check holy shit like that's cool that's a lot of skills but I mean that, that kind of looks like just a straight upgrade should I just take that yeah, you should just take it for now. St like, uh, Stamina Thief and Speed Sharpening. Uh, at least Stamina Thief is just nice to have anyway. Afflicted Rathian. Uh, <laughs> Shittest. Hold on. <clears throat> yeah, I, I can't upgrade much because I cannot uh, activate Kiryu's armor crafting on all my uh, final boss pieces. Mm. So I need Prime Amber Apples, and I don't know where I get that. Probably higher level ones. Probably. Hmm. You didn't know they had access to Blast, the Kinsect? Yeah, you have uh, uh, Blast Kinsects. Uh, while you let them attack the monster, like, passively, they just start dropping Blast Clouds. Mm -hmm. um, and the, the Sunbreak ones uh, alternate between dropping Blast and Healing Clouds. So if you hit the clouds, uh, they either deal, apply Blast to the monster or Healing. But... Uh, the Kinsic or the Sunbreak ones also have uh, an alternate move that sucks all nearby clouds uh, to the Kinsic's position and detonates them. So, uh, and the damage of that also gets boosted by both blast clouds and healing clouds. So you get like uh, like thousand damage plus explosions with that. It's really insane, very powerful, and very fun to use more important yep i'm gonna ride this one to get some some stuff oh hold on fuck i gotta I'm gonna grab my uh my wire bug fucking launched and here's rachna with the slowest uh back heavy in the entire game yeah you gotta do forward or neutral or forward heavy with the rachna it's so much more usable Still not good, but more usable. It also depends. Like in a lot of situations, you still can just use uh, use it anyway. Like if the monster's down or something. Yeah, true.
Yeah, I... oh damn. I'm doing real bad horn stuff. Don't be enraged. Damn, you're enraged. Something? Yeah, it's her. Like I said, the horn is it's just a better hammer anyway. The cooler hammer. <laughs> the area is coming in to check uh, check out what's happening. Prepare to be launched? Damn. What do you mean, damn? <laughs> I like launching you, it's funny. You know? For me, it is a little fun. Are they going to sleep? Okay. No, dog. Oh, the silk line thing. You about to fucking get giga damage. I need to apply a buff again. Oh, he's sleeping now. Well, off you go. I do love the heavy hitting effects of the hammer. I'm so sad they butchered um, Big Bang in this game, though. Big Bang is so no- oh, 1,101? Yeah, it's kind of sad. <laughs> Still a little more. <laughs> Can you keep a head, uh, head up while you were talking? You keep all the notifications up so you just keep an eye out for your videos. No problem. We'll see you later for now. We're kind of uh, exp uh, experimenting with streaming on YouTube every now and then for Monster Hunter stuff. But we usually stream on Twitch. Well, it's going to upload it to this channel regardless. Yeah. So the, the stream will show up here. Yeah, there's always going to be... Uh, Stuff on the channel every day, pretty much. Anything we streamed the previous few days. Oh, he's capturable. Don't do it again. Yeah, I think, I think these, uh, these, like level twenty, uh, ones just have less health than the, than the normal ones. I think these are still weaker. I'm gonna guess that around like level fifty, is the same. I'm just hoping that it's not gonna take us that long to reach a level fifty. Yeah, me too. Because um, normally, at towards the end of uh, uh, an afflicted fight, we would be. Oh, he's sleeping again. He's so dead. Normally, towards the end of an afflicted fight, we would be sitting at around seventy thousand damage. And both of these last two one uh, fights have sit have ended around uh, fifty five. Mhm. Mm I and mean, this one is currently at fifty three. So I think. My sleep wake up might kill him. It'll be close. Not quite. I'm getting greedy. Come towards my egg. Come towards egg. Die. Well, I didn't die, but... No, they're gonna die. Yep. There you oh go. Oh my god. <laughs> 58,000. Cool. Let's meet up again. Made their skull concave. Concave cranium contest. You're the winner. <laughs> First time watching live, but you've been watching your Monster Hunter series and enjoying it? Really? Nice. World series? It's Monster Hunter World. Yeah, that was... 
We were, we were pretty shit back then. Yeah, we <laughs> were pretty. Monster Hunter World. We were pretty garbage at the game at the start of Monster Hunter World. But <laughs> it's always nice seeing people going through the series, though. I, I like occasionally uh, looking at the the views on it to see uh, what's happening and, and seeing people or seeing each part getting like more and more views progressively is really nice. <clears throat> Especially considering, uh, and you probably don't know this, but back when we did Monster Hunter World, or when we started Monster Hunter World, they literally killed the channel's analytics. Like, yeah. we went from gaining like 10 subs a day to played. none for literally two years because we played Monster Hunter for the, for yeah. a, a few months straight. So it, it was <laughs> really bad. They were all averaging like one or two views for months. Yeah, there, there was there was a rough time in terms of views. So it's really nice seeing okay. them go the complete opposite direction. Eventually, you know. As always, I'm glad that people are anything, enjoying them now. If anything, it does show that we were really just playing Monster Hunter World because we enjoyed the game. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> there was nothing in it for us. <laughs> nothing in in it for, in terms of viewership. We're just like, we enjoyed the game so much, we're just going to play it anyway. <clears throat> Yo, what? My research request is afflicted Juratotus and it expires after five quests. <laughs> well, I guess you're not getting any progress on that one. Oh, wait, hang on. What level? Uh, 21 or higher. Oh, guess who we're fighting? Are you so good? <laughs> No, I don't. I don't. It's just that I have that quest. For... I also have it. I oh. have a 25 level. Even. Oh, I, mine, I, mine is... was only 20. Mine Yours is Kazu. Is Kazu. Both of ours suck. <laughs> Jesus. We got the worst monsters. Oh, I, I, I messaged mentioned... them. Or... Hmm? A message didn't come through because uh, YouTube's auto mod blocks. I don't know why YouTube's auto mod blocks random stuff. <clears throat> oh shit, I can get an Alpha Voucher if I wanted to. Let's go. Um, oh yeah, I, I mentioned this at one point before, but I actually enjoyed the one time I fought an Afflicted Juratotus. Because mm. I just it was effectively a punching bag for me at the time. I don't so have yeah, Amber Essence. Doesn't fight back, it's surprisingly fun. Okay, I'll take plus 14 defense. I mean, it's not it's not the worst. Yeah, those are the ones that are just like, well, I guess I'll put them on for now. I'll be here when you need me. Do I have a, a melding going on? I don't. I should put one on. Yeah, it's nice seeing people going through the... Uh, Original Monster Hunter World series. We were definitely not very good, and the quality is pretty bad considering it's a Monster Hunter World, which looks really good. Right. And uh, does not bode well for streams. Thank you for your patronage. Oh, sorry, almost done. The uh, the big walls we had in World were still some of my mm. favorite things to farm, especially especially Behemoth. I still really love Behemoth. And yeah, honestly, the app. Absolute hype once we finally got him dead. Yeah, my the, my favorite part, uh, moments in Monster Hunter when when playing it so far have definitely been those ones where we've had a wall we just couldn't get past, like Behemoth or um, Fatalis, Safijiva, Alatreon. You know, just the the big boy monsters that were really difficult. What I really liked about the Safajiva hunts in terms of optimizing was optimizing uh, when I got my mounts because by that point in the game I got I was so good at just guessing when my mounts would hit mm -hmm. that I could just pretty much time it. Did I buy? This is why I like the fight. Just yoinking him out of the water with my eggs. It's so fun. Watch him just lie there. <laughs> Watch him just lie there in pain, suffering. Yeah. 
It's all I want to see Jurathotis do. You enjoy the feeling of finishing something you struggle with? You were on Alatron for a month and finally beat it yesterday. Nice. Yeah, yeah me and Biffin, uh, if you ever get to that point uh, where me and Biffin fight Alatron, we, we genuinely fought Alatron over the course of like a month and a half because we just didn't have the gear for him. Yeah. And just kept trying him again and again and again. We uh, we ended up settling because I couldn't do much elemental damage with my glaive at the time. So we ended up settling with the. Uh, right, I started just using a light bowgun, specifically so I could have different uh, types of elemental damage. Oops. <laughs> but yeah, Alatrain was definitely one of the most uh, satisf satisfying kills to finally get. Especially considering just how long it took us. Definitely felt less uh, intense of a win than uh, Fatalis or uh, Behemoth. But I think it's because we were we were grinding those two so uh, adamantly by comparison. Fuck. You actually hit me right at the time where I was placing my egg, but it hadn't come out yet, so I got nothing and lost to Wirebugs. <laughs> no, I actually just griefed Rippin harder than... I could have griefed uh, anyone else. Yeah, you could not have done that intentionally the with the timing of that. Because that, that comes out pretty fast. So, like, Chiratotis just doesn't feel like a threatening monster ever. Yeah. It just kind of hits you sometimes and it's like, oh, okay, cool. Good for you. Yeah, like... I, I... Who on the Monster Hunter team has, like, an affinity for these, like, fish base monsters? Because they keep reappearing again and again and again, and I, I, I don't know why. They have a fan base. Yeah, but so does, so does Kongalala or Kezu. Kezu actually oh, has Kezu's a... Back. Yeah, but like, Kezu has a, a shockingly big fan base, though, <laughs> gotta say. Yeah. Because there's like the prime, this monster sucks so much ass, it loops around again. For some people. It's kind of like how Dodogama was kind of just a dumb monster, but everyone called him cute. <laughs> and some people also do that with Kazu. It's like, at least I can see why you would call Dodogama cute, but Kazu? Nah. I, who who, would, who call, calls Kazu cute? I have seen it very occasionally. <laughs> At least one time sincerely. I think the rest of the times were jokes, but I've seen one person call him cute sincerely. <laughs> That's uh, I'm gonna put that in the polls now. Is Kezu cute? Yes. I want I want a definitive answer from the community. I think um, you should post the same poll. Or like put a post this poll the next day asking uh, if people have vision problems and see <laughs> if the yes votes are the same. Try and find a correlation. Yeah. A diagnosis. Like are the people that say Kazu is cute just unable to see Kazu? <laughs> oh my god, they're 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 it's still relating to Kazu. You know? Yeah. That's actually true. They also don't have a theme song, probably. <laughs> Damn, he's, he's, like just, he's just like me for real. <laughs> he's unremarkable. Made his skin very flabby. Oh my god, just like me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that, that's a clickbait title in the work uh, in the progress or in progress actually. Most relatable monster hunter monster. <laughs> Kezu is uh, something else. At least Odogam was actually kind of interesting and looked cute. I kind of wish Kezu was something else. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, true. 
Hey, stop that. Oh, I... If you, um... Marionette spider them while they're in the ground, they don't actually come towards you. They just get mm. you in top. Good to know, actually, but... Sad for me. Bro got 1200 damage while he was underground for my egg. He's also weak. Damn, let's capture him. I mean, even if we could, this lad deserves death. <laughs> Should be about that. Yep. There we go. I like it because the um the mod or the update broke the mods. My end screen is like a roulette for me. <laughs> Whether it's like the normal end screen where it's just the, the cinematic pan or it's literally nothing, like nothing happens, the monster just dies. Or my HUD goes completely blank, but nothing happens. Like no slowdown. Or I do actually get the slowdown. It's like 104. I should, make, I should make like a um, a prediction on YouTube. I don't think you can, but on on Twitch I could have done predictions where it's like, what end screen am I gonna get on this hunt? You know, uh, I was thinking the other day because in um, in the mob menu, there's mm -hmm. a, a under is it is it scene? Yeah, under scene. There's a time scale option. So I was wondering if you could actually just make the game play at like quarter speed and capture images of uh, monsters mid attack like that. Mm. I'm sure you could. I do know there's a few mods where you can activate bullet time. This looks for, really cool. Uh, for running out of uh, if you're ever running out of thumbnails, you can just do it like that. Hmm. Oh, mine is Jury still Toads is now my highest quest. <laughs> oh, same. Actually, no, um, Brathian is my highest quest right now. My Jura Toads is 29. Oh, I actually have a, a double monster one. I hope you get a, uh, a bit more from that. Also, what's the point of the anomaly research thing? Like the getting more points from um, like picking up items. I think that increases the level of the quests. Hmm. Wait, hold on. I mean, it. I don't think it does because I went around in a... Um, a Kula Yaku quest and just collected like 30 different herbs to be because I wanted to actually check and see if that was the thing that would happen. And then I obviously killed uh, Kulu. And nope, just level one or sorry, level two. So it doesn't actually affect the, the uh, monster level. And if it does, it's like barely anything. It's not even worth cons uh, considering. Um, actually, you have a bar. Uh, an anomaly research level bar in your status, probably. And raise your anomaly research level to take on harder monsters and quests and unlock anomaly related content. So it does give you access to harder quests. Hmm. Just not in the same according, way of, uh, of upgrading the current monster you're fighting. No. Like it's it's just the, the other ones, the other quests you get will be higher level. Yeah, okay, my anomaly research is at 33. Interesting. Uh, mine is 32. And considering my highest level monster currently is 29. That sounds vaguely related, at least. So who we're fighting now? Who's getting the hammer treatment? Puke Puke? The blunt force trauma treatment. Or Great Izuchi. 
Let's do Pookie's more interesting. Yeah. This will also be my last hunt for today. Mm hmm. Uh, eat. God, I need afflicted dragon blood and afflicted dire scale, but I think that's going to be well in the future. I don't think we're going to get that one for yeah. a while. I think it's going to be uh, higher level ones as well. And buying MP accelerant for 150 of those coins seems like such a scam. I don't see how that's ever worth it. Hmm. Born Maestro, oh my god. Give him to me. Fucking sh sure, I'll take plus 16 defense. That's, that's not the worst. <clears throat> Let me see if I can get a sick roll on my uh, my armor, my chest piece. Leap of faith? No. <laughs> what do you mean? Leap of faith is so good, though. Do you even remember remember what it does? Yeah, and lets you. I'm pretty sure it lets you uh, Superman dive in any direction. Okay. <laughs> Which One is clearly shot. so good. Don't you want all your your rolls to be Superman dives? Well, you gotta see this one. This is actually such an insanely dumb roll. Damn, no embed. No embed? embed I want to see the dumb roll. I'll Hold just on. open up. There you go. You got the same thing, but worse. Yeah, it's just a straight downgrade. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Man, they really want us fighting all these uh, low-tier monsters for a really long time. It's not the worst. I mean... it is. It also is what I said I wanted, and I, I do. I'd rather have yeah. this than not. And also, we're already at, or at least I'm already at like level 30 now. I mean, this is 20, 29, but pretty much level 30. So I think soon we're good. I don't think it's going to be too long. One uh, mildly annoying thing about these uh, anomaly quests and research stuff. Oh, this is also you know what this is like. This is like the um in, uh the research in world. Yeah. I guess they heard the people said they wanted it back and they brought it back in a certain way. They just made it like it is honestly a better implementation anyway because I like don't having know. to s I know I I didn't like having to gather monster tracks and shit just to fight them for the first time. I was really or just to find them it was really annoying to me. I quite like it because it doesn't it didn't take that long and monsters usually left more than enough of them to get to them fairly quickly. Yeah, but there were, like I had every now and again I would just have a monster that just like I was missing like two more footsteps and I just couldn't find any anymore. So it was really annoying. I do still think um I, I want that mechanic to come back in some form. This is like, I think this is them testing the water. You know, this is kind of them putting it in and being like, okay, you wanted it back. Here's like a pseudo version of it that you will probably like. That song. So, you know, it's nice to have it back in some way, but I do hope the next game has tracking of some capacity. Yeah, for the same reason I prefer, I, I really like arena quests. I kind of just like knowing where the monsters and just being able to go fight them mm -hmm. most of the time. But I also do personally really like the, like the, uh, what would we call it? the atmosphere and the realism that World had where, you know, 
you had to actually search for monster tracks. The monsters uh, yeah. weren't always marked on your map, and like this is obviously a lot more gamey. Also mentioned the worlds in or the world maps in uh, world were so complex that you know actually knowing actually having the track system was very nice, and also you were. Uh, Less incentivized to just go straight towards the monster. Yeah. Definitely did, did give you more of a reason to actually explore the map, which mm -hmm. was nice. We just uh, got robbed from a stun, by the way. Yeah. Because he went from a stun right to this. Very sad. You should just stun again to make it up to us, actually. Mm hmm. Go ahead and just stun right now. Are you leaving? Uh. Are you are you going for a part for a tail cut? Um, maybe I'm thinking about it. It, it could be, it could happen. Yeah, I think uh, I've actually done a lot of damage to it. I think we're pretty close already. Mhm. Mm Every hunter should have a, an attack with their their hunting knife. Actually, a slicing you have attack. Kunai. Uh, do kunai? Uh, I don't think kunai do slicing. I mean, what else would they do? I don't think it's bullet damage. I'm pretty sure it's just damage. Flat. Could be the case. Incoming! Incoming! I'm poisoned. I don't like it. I mean, I like being poisoned. I'll take uh, poison. Not the greatest. I'm canceling you on Twitter right now. Poison is the best. Try to find my Twitter account first. Who's to say I don't already have it? Quick, what's what's my ad? I can do you one better. 138.48.59. You know. That is actually my ad. <laughs> <laughs> is your Twitter address uh, Bippin then a bunch of numbers? Like every... Uh, Everyone is on Twitter? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I totally didn't have a different one and then wanted Biffin and then like Trid was like, no, uh, uh, 50,000 numbers so you look like a bot account. <laughs> Hello, my name is first name, last name, bunch of numbers and I have some incredibly <laughs> shitty opinions. <laughs> The fuck? Oh, it's Bissarios. Again? Does it really want to interrupt us that bad? Maybe they're just close friends. See? Group farting. That's what they're doing. I'm gonna make them not close friends. But group start farting started at 9. They're way too late. I mean, you can. They both arrived at the same time. You can have a belated group farting. We were already here. How do you think I play my hunting horn? <laughs> Plus, look at how fat uh, Puky's tail is. You tell me that thing don't fart? <laughs> Damn, Puke. <laughs> that ass do fart, though. Is there a sleepy here? I'm currently being poisoned. Damn, I love it. Rats. I don't think there's a sleep bug around here. No, I think it's um somewhere else in the map. I didn't get the final hit in damn. Oh my god. Oh, you sleeping. Shit. Thank you! <laughs> that was actually so good. Nice. I'm the actual useful the... grief? It's actually good for you too because now you did it. Now you got that move with the uh, infernal melody. Mm hmm. Big damage. 
Oh! oh. <laughs> I, managed, I managed to beat you in DPS at the very last second. <laughs> that was a pretty sick finisher, actually. Yeah. It's fucking tossing me away so you can get the final hit. <laughs> I wish I could use my marionette spider on you. Hmm. To launch me? Yeah, to just join you. You're really funny. <laughs> Stand still for a sec. No. I am marionette spider resistant, apparently. Do you want to fart and crap? I also, I actually have one. Oh my god, group farting starts at 9 p.m.? <laughs> <laughs> group <laughs> farting? <laughs> I was gonna place mine down next to yours, but I couldn't. Your your fart was too powerful. <laughs> my, my fart was too powerful. What's the what's the the video you have? My actual reaction, my real life reaction. <laughs> my honest reaction. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Quick send it in VC lounge. So the people on stream can actually go look at it. You gotta you gotta figure out if you're watching this in the vault, you gotta figure out how many days after stream this was uploaded. And then you gotta go all the way back up to that point in the PC lounge. Just so you can find out what the video is. There we go. Posted in VC lounge. My honest reaction. <laughs> <laughs> Great video. It's such a good video. I got literally three different talismans that all had speed sharpening. The game is mocking me. <laughs> Okay, look at this fucking Mulzano horn user. Here, give him speed sharpening. <laughs> what the hell? I don't I don't need a bowgun skill. Fucking diversion? Actually not too bad. Actually pretty okay. Gives you more uh, enmity. Stop giving me tune up. I also don't want to cover up either. <clears throat> what is my. Oh, wow. 829 defense. Jesus. That ain't bad. And a pretty good sum of skills, too. Oh god, I've got so many extra dumb skills I could have put into... Man, if I could condense all these ones I don't need, just stick them into these ones, man, that would be... Yeah. That would be so nice. That's such a clean loadout. Alright. But we can be finished for now. I will see you later. Alright, see you later. And I will see all you in chat later as well. We'll be streaming more Monster Hunter at some point soon. Uh, probably going to be Guilty Gear tomorrow-ish, maybe. We'll see. But we'll be definitely be playing a lot more Rise, and you can expect to see some Rise VODs propping up as well. I'm thinking of actually starting a Monster Hunter series at some point, like an actual edited series. I'm not sure what it's going to be. I was thinking maybe like randomized monsters or whatever, or, um, you know, some sort of catchy concept. Something like that, like Monster Hunter randomizer or etc. But we'll see. Uh, I'm still thinking about it. Alright, well, I will see you later. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a wonderful day.